Hey, it's Les with Judson Vacuum Systems. I'm going to introduce you to the Judson Turbo Vac Vacuum System. What this is is a portable vacuum cleaner that can be have a vacuum hose hooked directly to it, or this can be connected to a central vacuum system. And I have a little mock-up here of a central vacuum system. With this vacuum, because it's a positive displacement system, it'll run up 1,500 feet of pipe. So we would run like 1,500 feet of main trunk line pipe, have valves located throughout the facility, and just a quick release valve to connect the vacuum hose. So you can hook it to a, a central system, or you can hook it directly to the vacuum, and the vacuum is on wheels, which is what makes it kind of neat. The Justin TurboVac 4720 is the world's most powerful vacuum cleaner, portable vacuum cleaner that's ever been made. Our service record on these vacuums, we have had came out with them in 1980. We have about 600 of these that's still running, that we know that it runs 24 hours a day. Uh, they, they're mainly used in industrial applications in factories, uh, yarn manufacturing facilities uh, to control uh, fly and yarn. Uh, we have them in the automotive industry. This, this particular vacuum here is going to the automotive industry. So what we do is, is we will change this to what industry it goes into. This is positive displacement technology for the automotive industry. We also have them in the aviation industry for vacuum aircraft. And we'll just change that to aviation. But I'd like to just give you a little brief description of the vacuum and, and how it's constructed. I'll just go ahead and open the door here and show you the inside of the vacuum. The vacuum has a positive displacement blower. It produces 600 CFM, 12 inches of mercury. This is the silencing system here. The blowers are fairly loud. And it has a twin silencer. This is the main silencer. And then it goes into a second silencer there. It goes underneath the whole unit all the way out. Then we duct the exhaust out of the facility uh, with flexible pipe to additionally get the sound out. Now this is called the level one sound deadening here. Level two is we actually will rubber mount everything and we'll put sound deadening material on the doors, on the interior and the inside here. Level three is we actually take this whole unit and mount it inside of a sound chamber for total silence. But uh, this unit here, I'll run it after a while and you'll see it's, it's not that loud. The level one sound deadening, most applications, it can be inside and it's quieter than what the machinery is that we're using it on. Uh, at the BMW plant, it's so quiet in that car manufacturing facility, we had to go to a level three uh, because the workers could actually still hear the vacuum running. But uh, this is this side, and this, this is kind of neat here. This is an adjustable pulley, and this is how we tighten the belts. That way you don't ever mess with the alignment. You don't have to loosen the components and move them. All you do is just turn this screw, this pulley will tighten up or loosen, and that tightens and loosens the belts, so it's kind of a unique uh, belt tightening system. So I wanted to show you that. The unit is a, this particular unit is a 440 volt, three phase, 20 horsepower vacuum. So it takes three phase power, we use a magnetic starter. The magnetic starter has a safety, uh, like a circuit breaker for a car. It also allows us to run a remote start and stop. So the, the vacuum could be mounted outside and piped into the facility and then inside the facility we can still turn the vacuum on and off by having remote start electrical start buttons inside the facility. I'll open this side here. This is a 20 horsepower 440 volt three phase motor. There's the blower, silencer. It's a real simple layout. Like I said we got uh, quite a few of these running 24 hours a day since 1980 so we have a as far as time on the blower nobody has more time on blowers than Judson does and they, they, they're minimum maintenance you know they have, there's oil on both sides that needs to be checked about once a month and change oil about once a year these are the vacuum relief valves there now I'll go over the uh, application of the vacuum now this is the recovery tank and it's mainly made for dry material, like textile fibers, or, or it can be carbon dust, or anything dry is made to go into this chamber. 
we have a double layer vacuum system, uh, filter here and this is suspended about two inches out of the vacuum chamber and the material is constantly going through the material, the vacuum is going through the material that you're vacuuming. And that's what's different. Most vacuums, the material comes into the recovery tank, hits a deflector plate and just drops down. What's so unique about this vacuum is these holes in the plastic bag, they're perforated 7 16 holes. So we're, as the waste, textile waste is coming into the vacuum system or the dry material, we're constantly drawing the air through the material and it compresses it four to one. So the volume of this tank is four times bigger than it looks like when you're vacuuming uh, textile waste. Now, if we got, I'm gonna go over some additional accessories that goes with the vacuum that allow you to that allow you to vacuum other material like liquid, oil, resin, uh, metal shavings, and we'll go over that on the second second segment. So we'll be right back.